Bye, Kelly. Have fun at the zoo with Amelia. Love you. You hear that, bud? Your sister gets to go to the zoo, and you get to hang out here with your folks. Are you going to do one of your world-famous jokes? I thought you hated my jokes. Oh, your, your dad jokes? Yeah. No, go for it. Go for it. OK, you know what? Just for that, knock, knock. <gasps> oh. I forgot, I have to review those pages. Oh, the financial reports. Oh, you don't know, come back here. Your mom's a nut, you know that? But she's also smart, fierce, and drop-dead gorgeous inside and out. You see, Hayes, your mom has this great big heart, and she loves with everything she is, especially you and your sister. You're the most important things in her world. Just like you are with mine. Yeah. You know what? Let's make a pact. Okay, you and me. See, your mom didn't go for the impromptu wedding. And I get it. You know, she wants to plan more. But I think if we stick together, we can make it happen real soon. This is one of your most inspired designs yet. You think so? For sure. Yeah, thank you. It means a lot coming from you. Well, I am a Zende Forrester fan. I have been practically since the first day we met. And I'm glad we did. That our paths crossed the way they have. Yeah, me too. You know, getting to know you, the amazing girl you are, I'm just so grateful to have you in my life. Yeah, I feel the same about you especially with all the changes going on around here. Zoe leaving. I know that's hit you hard. Have you heard from her? There's been a few texts. I told her that I'd moved in with Steffi and Finn and she was happy for me, but... Hey, did I lose you? No, no, it's just, um... There's something I want to say to you. About the two of us. I'm not sure what you mean. Now, what I said about you being amazing, I totally meant that, along with everything else I've ever said about you. All the good stuff, you mean. Now, how could there be anything but good stuff? When you're as open as you are, how you embrace people, wherever they are, whatever they need, like you've done with me? Well, I think it's a little different between us. It is, because of who we are to each other, how quickly we've connected. I'm still not sure what you're getting at, Zende. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, no. Donna sent over the wrong files. She sent last year's first quarter numbers. I need this year's. Can't you access them on your computer? No, no. The system's down for maintenance. She messengered these last night. I don't know what to do. It's no problem, right? I was going to do a diaper run anyway. I'll just stop by Forrester and pick up the right file. You sure you don't mind? Not at all. I took the day off to be with you and my son, and whatever you two need, I'm right here. You be good, little man. Hey, this is a good time for my daily grandson fix. <laughs> I, what Hayes was just saying he needs his daily grandpa fix. But uh, I'm on my way out. Uh, hospital? I know, Forrester. Stuff will explain. Love you. I love you. Bye. Love you too, Gramps. <laughs> Quite a guy. Yes, he is. Hello, little man. How you doing? 
Hi. Read any good books lately? Yeah. It's so out. crazy. Like, who knew when I opened my eyes at the hospital and I saw this handsome doctor standing over me that he was going to be my fiance, the father of my son. I feel so blessed to have Finn in my life. Why, well, he is too. There's something you should know. Oh. Oh. Get up. Hi. How's your mama? It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'll talk to Hub and get back to you. Problem? Possible fabric shipment mix-up. I won't bore you with the details. Oh, no worries. I enjoy listening to your work. Even the mundane stuff, like missing fabric? Yeah, I mean, you listen to me talk about budgets and fundraising. That can get pretty mundane, too. Yeah, but your work isn't. Neither is yours. Hope for the Future is having a big impact. Diversity, sustainability, women empowerment, that message is powerful. And your designs are a big part of that message. You see? This is why I like you. You're always so positive. But? No. No, no buts. You know how I feel about you, Paris. Yeah, I thought I did, but maybe you should tell me. Look, we've been dating, and clearly there's an attraction here. It's just, I mean, we're co-workers. We've been doing really well for ourselves, and I would just hate to mess that up for either of us. So, what are you saying? We should just be a little careful. Am I making sense? Yeah. Actually, I've been thinking the same thing. Really? Yeah, I mean, we've built something really special. And I wouldn't want to mess that up, especially now that I don't have any more family in L.A. I don't want to lose you two. So then we're cool, just taking things a bit slower? Mm-hmm. In fact, I think it might make us tighter in some ways. I agree. Okay, then. We'll take this one day at a time. He is back to dreamland. That's a mother's touch right there. Huh. Well, this isn't my first rodeo. But it's his first rodeo, and that how's your uh mm. how's your little Finn boy doing? Good. He's really bonding with Hayes. I can see that. He's a good guy. He likes you, too. Well, come on. What's not to like? Attractive. I'm rich. He wants to be on my good side. Oh my gosh. It's nice to see you like that. You're happy. You are happy, right? Yeah, I am. Good. You deserve that after the year you had with Liam and Hope and up and down and up and down and you... You deserve this happily ever after. With Finn, which I don't know anything about this guy. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. That's so crazy you said that. Um, yeah, it just feels like it's all like, it's happening fast. I mean, we had our proposal, we have Hayes. He wanted to marry me here the other day. Wait, what? Yeah. It was actually really cute. He wanted Hayes to be the witness. It was adorable. But, but you, you didn't do this, did you? No, I wouldn't break your heart like that. Okay, good. That is good, right? Yeah, it's... It's good. It's just, you know... We have Hayes, and we're a family, and... It's just, like, a lot right now. So you don't... You don't want that? No, I do. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired, Dad. Just, okay, I want... I can't imagine my life without Finn. You know, he's absolutely amazing. He's an incredible partner, incredible fiance, a spectacular father already. And I don't have to share his heart with anybody else. It's so nice. Makes sense. Things are really good right now, you know? And I, I really don't want to mess it up. 
And like, no offense or anything, but you know, everything that happened with um, with you and Brooke and, and mom. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Out of my environment. I understand. I, I don't want to. No offense taken. So. Okay. Just wanna. I'm sure, Finn understands that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He gets it. He just. Uh, he did ask me if I still had feelings for Liam. Do you still have feelings for Liam? We're always going to be connected. He's Kelly's father. I don't love him. No, no. He's happy with Hope. And I'm really happy with Finn. It's nice to get off the roller coaster. It feels great. Yeah, so it's, everything's going to be fine as long as you don't get married here with, with an infant as your witness. It's a beautiful testament to his love for me. But we are just so crazy right now. We have so much going on. I mean, Dad, I gotta quiet my voice because we have a newborn and we just like don't even have a routine right now. Honestly, like I, I don't know why we need a piece of paper to validate us being husband and wife. Things are, are great. We should keep it that way. We're a couple and we're parents and yeah. like it's good right now. Good. Right? Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's it. I'm not missing anything here, am I? <laughs> so we're good with this? Taking things one day at a time. I hope that you don't feel I've led you on or anything like that. Oh, no, you could never do that. That's not who you are. Well, who you are is gorgeous, smart, caring, creative. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I feel like I'm interrupting something. Yeah, you are, but uh, it's okay. Hey, we're cool, right? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so I just... Came to pick up this year's first quarter numbers for Steffi. Uh, Donna messengered the wrong ones. She's not at her desk. You don't know what this file is, do you? Uh, yeah, I actually do. I'll, I'll get them for you. Okay. Well, thanks, Andy. Yeah, and just by the way, I don't know how you managed it, but well done. What do you mean? You and Steffi getting Paris to live with you? They got a built-in babysitter. <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> uh, I know he was just kidding. Yeah, good. And I mean, like you would have the time. We're just glad you're hanging out with us at our lovable but noisy brood. I'm glad to, as long as I'm not in the way. Well, of course not. You can stay as long as you need. Thanks. You know, you and Steffi are such special people. It's easy to see why the two of you work so well. You guys are so attentive to each other. Well, Steffi's my wife. Or Steffi's the mother of my child. <laughs> I'll always be there for her. You're not missing anything. Okay, good. Because I'm with Finn on this one. He's found the perfect person. He's found you. You're amazing. You're perfect. You're one of a kind. And he just wants to find a way to lock it down as soon as possible. Dad. Here's what I don't get. We're foresters. We do weddings. That's what we do. We're good at it. And it seems to me that he's trying to dodge a forester wedding. I don't like it. No, it's not like that at all. But thank you for looking out for me. I'm always looking out for you. Your dad. And I don't want you marrying someone if I don't know who his parents are. You're always going to be my little girl. I'm not just going to let you leave like that. And I know what you're going to say. We've talked about this. You're not a little girl anymore. I know that. But you are to me. It doesn't matter how many people you marry, how many kids you have. You're always going to be my little girl. And I'm sorry. I wasn't a good role model for you. I and I, no, I, I wasn't. I and I, it's, it's okay. I should have shown you what a marriage should be like, and I didn't, because I was torn between two women. And it was hard for you, Thomas, Phoebe, all you guys, but you know, you gotta remember, you're not me. You're you, and you're not torn between Liam and Finn. You're not torn between Finn and anybody. He's your guy, he's the guy you've been waiting for. It's the way he looks at you. He gets you. And he's great with the kids, and. That's it. That's that's who you want to be with. It's not a question of if you, you want to marry him, but when. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
He's okay with you turning him down, not with this impromptu wedding he had here. He's not upset, did he? Ah, uh, I... I didn't mean to hurt him. I really didn't. But I feel the exact same way you do. Like, I, I want to know his parents. I want to know where he came from. And I really want to enjoy this moment. But if he does feel rejected, like... I would hate that. I know I'm so crazy right now, Dad, but, like, the more I'm speaking about this and really thinking about it, I'm realizing, like, I don't want to wait. I, I'm sorry, I don't. Like, I, he, I thought we were rushing into things, but I, what am I doing? Like, I really want to marry him, and I... Like, right now, I should. Finn is my person. Why wait? I want to marry him. I want to be with him forever. Always. I don't mean to pry, so if I'm sticking my nose somewhere it doesn't belong, just tell me. Hey, we're living together now. It's gonna be next to impossible to keep any secrets. Not that I have any. Whatever you need to know, you can just ask. Well, this is more of an observation, really. I've been watching you and Steffi, the way you relate. It's clear how much you love each other, and it's clear how committed you are to her and Hayes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean they're at the center of my world now. Everything else takes a back seat. Well, not everything. I mean, being a doctor is still pretty damn important to me. Well, that's just because you're really good at taking care of people. You know what else I'm really good at? Changing Hayes' diaper. <laughs> I mean, those are some serious skills. Yeah, I've seen you in action, and you're <laughs> impressive. I think Steffi might even be a little envious of how good you are. I know, right? And she was already a pro after Kelly. Regardless if, if it's changing a diaper or all the other ways you guys support each other, it's, it's lucky that you guys have found one another. So what do you say? I should put champagne on ice and call this. Oh, oh okay, okay. Let me call my fiance first, but maybe you should let Bob know. I'll let her know. Now, you know what? I'm going to call his parents, too, because I don't know them, and you need to know someone's family. It tells you a lot about who they are. Yeah, I'm sure Finn agrees after meeting you. All right, take it easy. I'm kidding. He'll be lucky to be marrying into this family. Just like I'll be lucky to be marrying into his. Yeah, come here. Yeah. I like the kid, I really do. Especially now that he's giving me another glance, huh? Yeah. But hey, if you got some doubt, some reservation, then... No, none at all. Because I'm not saying you need to get married tomorrow. I mean, look, it would make Finn happy, it would make me happy. <laughs> not really about us being happy as much as it is about you being happy. So, when are you getting married? 